Hey guys, are you looking for that Eureka armor that everyone likes to see that glowy stuff? Or maybe you need it for a specific glamour of some sort? Well, good news is I'll try to do this as fast as possible to tell you how to actually get access to it. But without further ado, let's jump right into it. First of all, you need to do the Eureka and unlock that, which I'll leave a card in the top right here and basically another video showing you like Eureka in 2021. But other than that, as soon as you have that unlocked, you need the antique weapon that you get for finishing your level 70 quest. As soon as you have that, you can go into animals but if you for some reason got rid of it for some reason you can go buy the antique weapon from a calamity salvager for a thousand gil as soon as you're in animos you need to start farming up some protein crystals first step you need roughly a hundred protein crystals to get protein crystals you either kill nms for animus crystals that you turn into gerald to exchange for three to five protein crystals or you could farm them from trash mobs of equal or higher elemental level as your own so basically you farm up either nms or trash mobs to get a hundred protein crystals to unlock the weapon the first weapon and after that step you need to get at least 400 more protein crystals to get the plus one and then the next step you need 800 protein crystals to get to the plus two and then after that you need to farm up pazuzu two different methods here you can either farm them up via the fate will in the willows or buy them via protein crystals from the expedition bird watcher so as soon as you get those three of those you upgrade it to the animals version of the weapon you could jump over to the next zone pagos and once you get to pagos you're going to need to finish up your level 25 quest to unlock the either or rather the kettle that Geralt gives you so you need five of those which five of the frosted frosted protein crystals which you get via killing nms and or level appropriate mobs in pagos area and once you get enough light or the bar fills up there's a crystal forge in the x6 y21 and you receive one crystal for each fully charged either the kettle can hold a maximum of nine charges so once you get nine charges get those turned in right away or you'll be wasting potential light charge or either charges so the first step is to get five of these frosted protein crystals as soon as you're done with that you get the pagos weapon and then pagos plus one weapon you need 10 of these frosted protein crystals plus 500 pagos crystals and pagos crystals are just like animals crystals which you unlock well get via killing notorious monsters in the zone and the final step the elemental step you need five louis ices and 16 frosted protein crystals you get basically the frosted the same thing but to get the louis ices you need to farm the louis on ice fate which gives you roughly like two per gold medal credit and in the for the finishing that fate or you can take 50 pagos crystals and trade it to the expedition bird watcher and you can pay for it that way as soon as you get the elemental weapon you can jump over to pyros very first step in pyros to get the plus one version you need to get 150 pyros crystals and unlock 10 logo actions and the next step and of course the pyros crystal you farm via fates as well or notorious monsters the elemental plus two you get 200 uh, pyros crystals i almost said pagros pagros no yes pyros crystals and then 20 logos actions and then the actual pyros tier you need 300 pyros crystals five penny flams and 30 logos actions penny flams just like the louis ice you probably saw it in the vendor you can pay for via pyros crystals or there's a fate that you could do in that zone as well something to deal with penny but this is the last zone that you actually need to unlock particularly for the pyros weapon for the actual elemental weapon no for the actually elemental gear sorry because this is when you start unlocking that artisan that you actually be able to pay for the armor but the first thing you need to do is actually get 50 logos actions to actually unlock the armor vendor as soon as you unlock the armor vendor you can pay for the crystals or with crystals the elemental gear set this is the non glowy version and then once you get that if you want the glowy version you need 56 logo actions and to actually get the glowy set you actually have to go into hydatos and you pay with the hydatos crystals all right now let's just talk about the tldr for actually getting the elemental gear set okay so you get the antique weapon go into animos finish the animos weapon roughly 1300 crystals protein crystals three pazuzu feathers get the animos weapon jump over to pagos 31 frosted protein crystals 500 pagos crystals and five louis ice then you 
you get the elemental weapon, then you jump over to Pyros weapon section, which is Pyros, of course, and you farm up 650 Pyros crystals, 5 penny flames, and then 30 logos actions, and that'll give you the Pyros weapon. And then once you get that done, you should have the option, as soon as you get 50 logos actions, you'll be able to talk to the vendor to get the gear for the elemental set. Then if you want the glowy version, you have to go to the Hydatos, and this is where you need 56 logo actions unlocked to get the glowy version. And that pretty much sums up on how to acquire the elemental plus set and get all the cool glowy stuff. Thanks for watching and see you later. Peace.